G'day everyone, and welcome back to Throwback Thursday and the adventures of Detective Sonny Bonds in Police Quest 3. When we last left, when we were last here with the great detective, we discovered that our darling wife Marie's IV was incorrect and we scolded the doctor greatly. Well, he deserved it. And it was fixed, so that was good. We also got the combination for our partner's locker. Awesome. Um, through sneaky, sneaky means, which is cool. Gotta love the sneakage. And we photo fitted a dude. And yeah, we had a bunch of fun. And we won a court case. That's right. We nailed that sucker. Alright. Se hoo hoo. Now. There's some conjecture that I still don't have my gun. So, let's have a look. I was pretty sure I picked it up. But a reliable source did tell me that I again left my gun at the cop shop. And let's just turn the sound down. Alright. No, we had the gun at the end of the last episode. So, just for the record, we had the gun at the end of the last episode. We didn't forget to pick it up again. So, <laughs> that is a win. Alright. So. Let us head on up in the elevator. And again, thank you guys for supporting the heck out of this. The comments have been great. I'm really happy that this has brought back memories for a lot of people out there because that was the whole point of doing this is to show these old games and hope people got the same nostalgic feelings that I did and for those of you who have never seen are young and never seen these games just to see where games have come from and where we've all come from as gamers um, yeah so that's yeah, it's been really awesome. The response has been great. The subs have been great. I mean, you know, 600 is more than I expected, and I'm humbled. Really humbled, so thank you guys. Anyway, let us get to work. Let us read the bulletin board. The memo advises of a mandatory attendance for all female officers for physical performance testing at the beginning of shift tomorrow. Now, that's an interesting tidbit of information. Because now we have the what looks like a locker combination to our partner's locker. So maybe we should do some snoopage. I'm thinking we're going to do some snoopage tomorrow. That's going to be cool. Yes, I think we're going to take advantage of this. See what she's got to hide. She's always locking in a drawer, always calling people at random times. I think we're going to do some snoopage. Anyway, on with the work of the day. Let's talk to Earl. Ooh, he's looking for a pattern by marking the locations. Hmm. Scratch my head. Maybe that's something I should do. Let us use the computer thingy. Alright. Ooh, evidence added to case. 199145. Alright. 199145. That'll be analysis of the evidence that we put in the other night. So, okay, multi. Okay, Andrew Dent. Suspect, Steve Rocklin. Multiple stab wounds, pentagram, paint transfers, possible suspect vehicle, skin, hair samples. Ritual cult murder associated with attempt on Marie Bonds. Motive, cult murder. Continue. Gold paint transfer shows... Analysis shows car to be used on General Motors sedan 1976. 76 GM. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Alright. Alright. 
So, here we go. What we have here is a situation where we might take Earl's lead and... Now, we have all the locations in the files, so... Let's go through. What you, should, what you need to do here is crack out your pen and your pad. And actually you have to take a lot of notes in this game. You need these locations. It's like it's, it's really really hardcore, like trying to be a cop. Um, a lot of respect for what detectives do. Okay, so 376 West Road. So we we'll need to plot that point. Okay. Review case. Where are our case numbers? Let me find the right page. Oh, case number. Sorry, folks. Just here we go. All right. Next case, Marie's. One nine nine. One four four. And the address is no, three four one East Rose. Cool. Uh, one nine nine one two four. Okay. Three nine two South Sixth. Yep. Okay. Review case one nine nine one three seven. I'm picking this little bit two eighty West Park. All right. So, we have our data points, which is cool. Alright, so we click that. Let's go Tools, City Map. Here we have a gorgeous map of the great city of Linton. And we want to plot some crime image. You click Plot Crime and you get a little star, and when you put the star, you get your location. So, alright, let's plot these crimes. So. 280 West Palm. Alright, there. 392 South 6th. Alright. 341 East Rose. Three seventy six West Roads. Alright. Alright, let's check the pattern, see what we get. Now, looks like we need to put a point up here I need to put one up here so 
So these need, this should line up here and form a pentagram. And it should tell us we've got a pentagram. There you go. Pattern has formed a perfect pentagram. Can this show the location of the next murder? Who knows? Let's quit. Alright, let's put out a APB. All points, bulletin. The voice on the other end says, Dispatch, can I help you? Bloody oath, you advised Dispatch to put out an APB for the possible suspect vehicle. Describe the vehicle as being a gold GM sedan with possible white paint transfers. You also advise that the occupants may be armed and dangerous and to approach with caution. I've cut it all, says the dispatcher. I'll put this out in the air immediately. Alright. So. Let's go snoopy snoopy while... Well, we wait for the APB to come up with something. Go around and see how the psychologist is going. He might have something interesting for us today. This is the psychologist's office over here. Remember we saw this on the first day. Mm. Doesn't look like old mate. Ooh, it's a personnel file. Doesn't look like the psychologist's here. Maybe we should sneak a look at this personnel file. No one seems to be around, so you pick up the file. You notice that it's a personnel file of Pat Morales. Afraid of being caught snooping, you read only the doctor's summary. 1. Displays chronic insubordination. Two, in, a, in, in irrational hatred of authority figures. Three, low self-esteem. Four, borderline sociopath. Summary. Evaluation was, yeah, evaluation was suggested by internal affairs. Officer Morales was involved in the destruction of evidence on three different occasions. Internal affairs concluded the incidents were coincidental based on insufficient evidence for discipline reaction. Return the file to the desk. Okay. Cool. Alright. So. I think we should, next we should head to that point we found on the between 8th and 9th. I think that's a good place to go. So, maybe we can stop a murder. Speaking of murders, it reminds me of a great film I used to watch when I was young. My father liked very much called Murder by Dead. Very black comedy. Great cast though. Sir Alec Guinness, Peter Sullivan, some of the great comedians of our time. David Nevin, Peter Falk that played Columbo, Maggie Smith's in it that played uh, McGonagall in Harry Potter movies, all star cast, all star cast, Alec Guinness plays a blind butler, very very funny movie, check it out if you like, black comedies involving murder, the send up of detectives, very very good, so there's Truman Capote in it too, he plays the evil mastermind. Anyway, 8th and 9th. So, we need to... Sonny, according to the crime pattern, the serial killer will probably strike next somewhere around 200 East Palm. Yes, I agree. As I recall, the only buildings on the 200 block of East Palm are some warehouses and the Nugget Saloon. Well, I think we're going to the pub. So, let's just cruise down to 8th. There goes 7th. Let's back it off, back it off. Cruising on up. Do 
change to in That's better. There's the courthouse where we had our huge win last episode. That's right, getting it done in the eyes of the law right there. It's all about the awesomeness of stopping crime. You can see we're just tooling on up. We're coming up here, past Oak. You know, about here. Get up here. Stopping, yes, because we've got to stop. Turn that off. And. Stop and turn. Perfect. So, we should be pretty much there. Ooh, look! A very suspicious looking car. Look at the parked car and notice the license plates are missing. The car matches this. Yes, fresh white paint transfer. Bingo, you mutter. I've got you now, you son of a bitch. Let's just put a tracking device on it in case the guy he does a, gets away from us. Let's go and get some evidentiary kittage. Alright, let's open up our, let's get a scraper, and then take those. Alright, let's do some scrapage. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape that car thing. You carefully scrape some of the white paint transfer off and put it in an envelope. Because <laughs> there's already enough paint off of this car. That's it inside. Got a feeling we're going to need this too. Because yes, and we've got it. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a dive bar. I'm going to check out the back for the suspects, funny. Shake, shake, shake. Alright, a dive bar. Let's have a look around. Bartender is a tough looking woman. She's sporting a Peterbilt t-shirt. And don't mess with me grimace. She looks as though she's perfectly capable of keeping her customers in line. The man playing pool looks like a rough customer. You wonder where his pool partner is. Just the skinny guy minding his own bin. This guy looks like he sprouted out of that bar stool. Must be a regular here. Empty tables and chairs. Wait for the crowd to arrive. Hmm. Might be an interesting program if it would stop flipping like that. Yeah, V hold's broken, but you know, what you gonna do? A H hold. No V hold. Up and down. Yeah, vertical. Anyway. In case a uh, pool player comes back. Ooh, what do we got here? That's our guy. Oh, he took a shot at him. And he's off. Curse as you watch the specific spus getting away. If only there was a jammer. If only there was a thingy bobby tracking device on his car. Oh look! There is a tracker on his car. Heavens to Murgatroyd! Who could possibly have planted that there? Oh look, he's on the freeway. 
Well, we don't have to rush. Ooh, the blip has stopped on the freeway. Mm, that's not good. Yeah, I gotta remember which. Ooh, and we're on the freeway. Eh, we can just just chillax, just cruise on up. Ooh, up ahead you see a car overturned in the middle of the freeway. You slow and stop. Oh. Ooh, only mother of God. I'll get on the radio and call for support, Sonny. Go ahead. I'll take care of Bin. I ain't take care of the Bin. Alright. I think we're gonna have to whack out some flareage because I think we're gonna get mashed if we try and go over there. Well, let's grab some flareage. Lay out some flareage. Lay a flare pattern on the road to block traffic until the accident has been cleared up. Alright. Oh, here comes trouble. I'll take care of directing traffic. Let's go and have a look at our victim. The guy from the bar, alright. He won't be doing any talking though. But then, he'll never stab another man's wife in the parking lot again. The keys are still in the ignition. Hint, hint. That's Jackie's keys. What could I possibly want with his keys? Anyway, the card in there has passed by her. Make sure we don't have to search this mofo. Yeah, no idea. No. Let's uh. Let's key up. Let's check the trunk. It's about the only part of the car that hasn't been destroyed. Oh damn! Upon opening the trunk of the car, several packets of cocaine fall to the ground. Apparently this guy has several bad vices. Coke. Let's let's note that. Hey Sarge. Thanks, Sergeant Barnes. I'll stay for the cleanup. You and Officer Morales can take off now. Got coke. <laughs> uh, westbound on I four. All right, we need an exit here. We need an exit. Lily Ave. Westbound on Lil. So we're way down here. Oh. Alright, second, so we need to hang. Hang a right. We want Rose, so cruise on up to Rose. Bum, bum. Alright. Pound some gas, get down to 6th Street. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Slowing down because we're coming up to 6th Street. No, I apologize. That kind of music makes me want to rap. And the cup shop. Alright. 
pocket on up. Well, and off she goes to do something shifty, I'm guessing. Alright. Back at the cop shop, we've put the tools away, and let's go and book some evidence. Alright. Book and evidence, book and evidence. Gotta love it. Here's our evidence. Here's our evidence room attendant. Pump some evidence in there. Case number one nine nine one four five. Left rear quarter panel of a nineteen seventy six GTO. Nice. And disposition. Analyze a possible match with paint transfer in that case. All right. We've booked some evidence. Let's go upstairs. Let's go to our office and see what's going on. Let's get in there. Getting in there, getting in there, getting it done. Ooh, a memo. Sonny, Dr. Wagner calls and reminds you it's important you visit Marie every day. Go. Excellent. Let's go. Alright, well, we're going to go to the hospital. Driving on over to the hospital. The hospital, yeah. Do 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 into the car. And Morales just comes out of nowhere. Just, you know. <laughs> you sell this in two hours. Southbound on six, we need to turn that way. Westbound on Rose, we need 4th Street. Alright, we are out and see hospital. Damn, this guy's working his bankers hours at 10. Oh, it's only I'm gonna make a phone call. Elevator on up. Little on up. Check out how she's doing. You can see, IV's rocking a .005, which is epic. Uh, we have done all we can do here. Alright. Drop the partner off and drive yourself home for some much needed rest. Suddenly it went from 3 o'clock to 10 in the blink of an eye. And anyway, I think that's where we'll leave it, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining us and later.